Hello, welcome to our introduction to CEDH learning series. The goal of this course is to teach the basics and fundamentals of CEDH or Competitive Commander. This course is for anyone who wants to dive into the competitive part of a Commander format, but don't know exactly where to start. This course does assume you have an understanding of the EDH or Commander format, as well as an overall understanding of Magic the Gathering as a whole. Today's lesson will cover the different deck types in CEDH and what to expect from each of them. So you might be asking, but I'm looking to build a deck of my own. That's great. CEDH encourages different brews and deck styles, but that's only one piece of the puzzle to understanding CEDH. You must also have an understanding of the decks you'll be facing up against in order to be prepared. So there are three main deck types in CEDH. They are proactive, adaptive, and disruptive. Proactive decks prioritize winning early over board control, Disruptive decks prioritize board control over winning early, and adaptive decks usually switch priorities from game to game based upon matchups and draws. So, let's dive into each of these in more detail. Proactive decks are considered your fast combo decks. They are the ones looking to combo off in the first one to three turns of the game. They don't really prioritize board control with things like creatures and stacks effects. Their permanents are usually focused on getting the elements necessary to win the game. When looking at CEDH from an outside perspective, these are the decks you hear about the most. They are the ones that make the most noise from the outside because people don't frequently see a 100 card singleton deck winning so soon. These decks are frequently pretty fragile, hoping to win before you get the chance to stop them. They don't usually pack a whole lot of backup and their focus is very singular. So what decks are typically proactive decks? Anything seeking to get their combo online as soon as possible are considered proactive. Go to Helm, Salvala Bro Storm, Get Rog, Corvold, Ad Nauseam decks, Food Chain decks, and Storm decks all usually fall under this category. The next deck type to discuss is Disruptive. These are the ones usually looking to slow down other game plans through either stacks, tax, or disruption. They want to make it into the late game in order to execute a combo. A lot of times, if you have a combo that requires multiple pieces, you'll want to ensure the game goes long enough to get those pieces together. These decks seek to stop other combos from happening first and or second, and look to execute their win through combo or other means, either third or fourth. So what decks are typically disruptive decks? Anything seeking to actively put disruption pieces early in the game to slow others down before assembling their own win cons are seen as disruptive decks. These include things like heavy counter magic or even discard. Blood Pod, Opus Thief, Heliod, Baral, Grand Arbiter, and Niv Miz all fall under this category. Finally, we have adaptive decks. Adaptive decks are a hybrid of the proactive and disruptive deck types. Basically, depending on a matchup, an adaptive deck can change its strategies from a proactive plan to a more disruptive plan. For example, if an adaptive deck sits down at a table and sees that it has two proactive decks in the pod, it knows it probably won't be able to outrace them, so it may switch to a more disruptive strategy. If an adaptive deck sits down with other adaptive decks, it might seek to go more proactive in order to try and win. Most decks in the CEDH meta fall under the adaptive category. Adaptability is the best way to win when sitting down to new pods, so a lot of decks look for ways to change up their style in order to win. Most of your partner commander decks fall into this category. If you see a Timnathrasios deck, you can almost guarantee it's an adaptive deck. That's because they have the ability to get out their commanders to play a long game if needed. Other adaptive decks include Urza, Jace, Yison, Momir Big, Tatiova, Kinnon, Kess, Najila, decks running the Underworld Breach combo, decks running the Iso Rev combo, or decks running the Thassa's Oracle win con. So, how do you beat each of these deck types? How does proactive beat disruptive? How does adaptive beat proactive? Proactive decks look to execute their combo as soon as possible and are built to outrace the other decks. Proactive decks can usually beat disruptive decks by speed. Watch out for early stacks and tax pieces from the adaptive decks before they are able to stabilize. Disruptive decks can beat adaptive because they are better suited for a long game. Make sure to shut down early win attempts from proactive or adaptive decks looking to sneak in their wins. Make sure to hold the proper interaction to execute a disruption that requires the most rebuilding from each. Adaptive decks beat the other two deck types by switching up depending on what's happening. If you need to deal with a proactive deck, try to deal with it early, then switch to value pieces to execute your longer game plan. If dealing with mostly disruptive, seek to destabilize to try and win before they can make it into the late game. There's so much to cover about deck types that we can't go into the nitty gritty of building decks or special exceptions to individual decks from an introductory perspective. 
Hopefully this video will help you get an initial understanding of what you'll be up against when you're sitting down at your first CEDH table, which is what we will be talking about in the next lesson. What questions do you have about deck types? Do you have questions about a deck you've seen online or one you've brewed? Ask us in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching, and we will see you next time.